think you can swill with the bat? That poor soaker, he never leaves. From sunup to sundown, he just sits there, staring into his horn. Once, just once, I'd have him take a bath. He was a king once, that one. You'd never know by the way he sulks. <laughs> We should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor! My Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you... ...for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father. As a king. As a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. There was nothing sensible about your betrayal. Sigurd should have been king. You robbed him of that. Who did I betray? A son who was never home? A selfish boy with no sense of leadership? An arrogant You trainer. lie! I have led numberless men into battle, and countless ships and raids across all the known world! You talk of kingship as if it were a matter of counting the notches on your axe. But to lead means so much more. I passed my crown to Harald because he was a man who understood the challenge put before him. Unlike you. You pathetic worm! Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate. To save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was... Uh... He loved you. That is all. Argon nonsense. I've heard enough. My son, please. You have spoken your words, and Sigurd has heard them. What happened to my son? What 
turmoil did he see that took his arm and darkened his mood? He saw his father for what he truly was. A coward who faced his enemies with more honesty than he did his family. I was a father to you, Eivor. I have no father. This sad business is finished. And good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Abel. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. 